Hey what's up guys so I've got Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic 47mm version here and in this video I'm going to do a walkthrough of the entire software of this watch so you know what features are available in this watch and what you're getting into. If you have used Galaxy Watch before, you would be pretty familiar with the layout of the watch. If you swipe down, you get to your quick settings panel and we have multiple pages of these. You can long press on any of these and it takes you to the main menu of that quick setting. And then you can even add more quick settings. And if you swipe up, you get to your app drawer and you get to see all of your apps here. Swipe to the left and you get to your tiles and swipe to the right you get to your notifications so that's the basic layout to add more watch faces or switch between watch faces simply long press on the watch face and it takes you to the watch face editor and from here you can add more watch faces or switch between watch faces so if you press here you get to the whole library of watch faces and samsung has really updated this page here and now you get this card based layout so they have been categorized into these cards. We have graphical watch faces here, then we have informative watch faces here, and then classic, and all the categories are here, and so you can easily add more watch faces. Now in the app drawer, you can long press on any app and then move it around, but this time they have done something new here. So now you can press on any app and drag it over another one, and it will create a folder for you just like you do it on your phone so that's a fantastic new feature that samsung has added and this feature really allows you to declutter your app drawer now here you can press this plus button and add even more apps to this folder and you can tap on this circle here and change the color of the folder then you can also delete the folder you can tap on it and you can rename the folder as well when it comes to tiles you can also add more tiles here or widgets as i like to call them still so you get this plus button at the end of them and if you tap on them you will see the same interface that we saw uh, in the watch faces menu so we get this card based layout and all the widgets or tiles have been categorized by the app so we have all the widgets or tiles for Outlook here, for Samsung Health, we get quite a lot. Then Samsung Health Monitor, Schedule, Smart Things. So they have all been categorized into this card based menu system, which is kind of really neat and feels really organized and you can easily find what you're looking for. A new widget that they have added here is this one, which shows you the battery of your watch as well as your phone because your watch is connected to your phone. Now let's go ahead and take a look at all the apps that come pre-installed out of the box on this watch. So we have got Samsung Health Monitor here, Samsung Health, Messages, Play Store, Maps, Compass here, Weather, and then Bixby, Calendar, of course, and then we've got all the utilities, Timer, Stopwatch, Alarms, Gallery here. There's a new feature in Gallery where you can switch between albums, story, and just pictures, just like you do on your phone. In Samsung Health app, you get your daily activities, steps, exercise, food, tracking sleep tracking body composition water cycle tracking stress heart rate blood oxygen levels and then you can also view your challenges here now i've been wearing this watch to bed for a couple of nights now so let's go ahead and take a look at what are the metrics it provides for sleep tracking so we have actual sleep time here sleep score sleep stages additional info which tells you about the oxygen levels snoring sleep skin temperature because we have a temperature sensor at the back this one here then sleep consistency and then you can see more advanced features but on your phone let's move into the settings and that's where the main crunch of the watch is go in connections we have bluetooth wi-fi settings nfc and contactless payments flight mode in your mode section you have sleep mode and theater mode so you can turn them on you can schedule them as well so if we go in sleep mode, you can schedule it. And what it basically does is that it will turn off always on display, raise risk to wake, depending on your settings and do not disturb may also turn on. In theater mode, this is for watching movies in theater. You can also use it when you're watching a movie at home. If you don't want to be distracted, it will mute notifications and it will turn off always on display, raise risk to wake, system sounds, alarm sounds and timer sounds. Then we have notifications and notification settings. So you can manage app notifications on your phone, which apps you want the notifications from or not. Show phone notifications on watch. So in here, 
you can select show alerts when phone in use or when phone not in use so that's up to your preference mute notifications on phone so you will not be alerted about notifications on your phone you will just receive them on your watch do not disturb mode and then advanced settings which include notification indicator and that's the you know orange little dot that appears on the left edge of the display to tell you that you have a notification or pending notifications you want the notifications to be shown in detail you want the notifications to turn on the display auto turn on watch notifications for new phone apps so you can do all that here next up we have sound and vibration so here you can set up the sound profile whether you want it in vibrate or mute or on sound and then what kind of vibration you want short long light or strong and this one actually has a pretty strong vibration then there is call vibration notification system vibration volume ringtone notification sound and system sounds in display the first setting we have is brightness and this watch gets really really bright like it supports brightness levels of up to 2000 nits that's crazy bright so you can easily view this watch or view this display under direct sunlight as well obviously you're going to be using adaptive brightness so brightness can adapt to your surroundings always on display and then screen wake up gestures whether you want the screen to be turned on if you raise your wrist if you touch the screen or if you turn the bezel and then we have show media controls so this feature allows you to uh, show media controls on the watch as soon as you start a video or an audio on your phone so then you can control it from your watch then we have screen timeout show last app show last app is basically a feature where if you're using your watch if you are using a specific app on your watch and then you get distracted you get a notification or a phone call and the watch screen goes off then if you come back to it within 20 seconds and you turn the screen on the watch will show the same screen or you can set that time to two minutes or within the hour so if you come back within the hour and you turn on the screen you will see the same screen so that is also an amazing feature then we have font style bold font font size touch sensitivity and then we have show charging information and then finally we have show charging info so if you turn this feature on when you're charging the watch the display will show how much of the watch has been charged and how long it will take to charge it fully and the time at the top moving on we have samsung health here you can play around with samsung health settings set them up so we have got heart rate settings you want the heart rate to be measured continuously every 10 minutes or manual measurement then you want the high heart rate alerts or low heart rate alerts you want the watch to measure blood oxygen during sleep you want snore detections skin temperature during sleep now all of these features if you turn them on it will affect your battery life so keep in mind so you have to pick and choose whatever features that are more important to you you can turn them on moving on we have auto detect workout so activities that you want the watch to detect automatically if you forget so this one includes walking running cycling elliptical trainer rowing machine swimming dynamic workouts and alerts so the watch will alert you when it starts to automatically detect your workout then we have inactive time alert this is for people who have a sedentary lifestyle or their work involves sitting a lot they can turn this on and so the watch will prompt them to get up and stretch and move around for a while next up there is an option to make your watch visible to other devices so you can connect it to other devices or you can connect it to other health platforms exercise machines and tvs and share data with these other devices next up we have security and privacy so if you go in here you can actually set up a lock on your galaxy watch 6 classic so as long as the watch is on your wrist it will stay unlocked and when the watch detects that it has been taken off it will lock now you can create a pattern lock or a pin lock for your watch and it's a great way to secure your privacy in case your watch gets stolen or gets lost then you have location settings and app permissions and stuff like that then we have safety and emergency settings so here you can add your medical info your emergency contacts your emergency sos hard fall detection so here you can also turn on the countdown timer and then emergency number it will call 911 and then the most important one when to detect falls so here you can select always during physical activity of any kind or during your workouts so when you are actually actively tracking workouts on your watch in this setting the watch will detect for any hard falls then you have the option to share info with emergency contacts straight away and then you can also set up your emergency contacts 
Next up, we have accounts and backup where you can add your account, you can remove your accounts and stuff like that, Samsung and Google accounts. Then we have Google, here you can set up your assistant and you can set up your Google accounts. And then we have advanced features. In advanced features, the first option is disconnection alerts. So you can set this up. So as soon as your watch is disconnected from your phone, the watch will alert you. And then you can also set up the alert type, sound and vibration, or full screen alert with sound and vibration. And then you can also set up don't get alerts at home. So if you're at home, it doesn't matter, the watch will not alert you. Next up, we have water lock mode. So you can turn this mode on and then you will get this icon here. The watch will lock and if you like to you know wear your watch to swimming or you are taking a shower with your watch on it's better to turn this mode on so the water will not interact with the display and you will not get any accidental calls or any accidental features turning on or off and the way to turn it off is by just long pressing the home button it will create a sound and push water out of the speakers and then it will tell you to actually shake off the watch to remove the rest of the water then you can also customize these buttons home button and back button so in home button what will the double press do you can set it up to do any one of these things you can launch any app with double press of the home button and what will the press and hold of this button will do you can launch big speed assistant or power of menu next up we have back button so short press you can set it up to go to previous screen or show recent apps then we have status indicators so in here you can have the status indicators to show always these are these little indicators that show at the top of the display so you can set them up to show always or hide after two seconds moving on we have gestures and advanced features so these are the gestures that you can use to answer calls so if you make this gesture it will answer the calls for you dismiss alerts and calls so you can see the gestures here and then quick launch now here you can use this quick launch feature to select any of the apps or any other feature on your watch next up we have battery and device gear this is also something new that they have added in galaxy watch 6 classic we previously we only had battery options but now we also have device gear just like on galaxy phones so here right at the top it tells you your device condition which is great right now no issues found then you have your battery storage and memory options so you can go in each one of them and take a look at these in detail you can turn on the power saving mode, you can turn on the watch only mode, you can take a look at your sleeping apps. Then in storage, it shows you how much storage images or audio is taking on the watch and how much storage is available. And same for the memory, which features are taking or hogging your RAM on the watch and then you also have the option to clear the RAM. Moving on, we have general. So in general, we have text to speech and in here you can change the preferred engine samsung or google whatever you want engine settings language and speech rate then from input you can change your keyboard remember you have the option to download more keyboards and change them on your galaxy watch so you can for example download gboard google's gboard on your watch and have that as a default keyboard and you can also change its settings from here next we have orientation so this is the orientation of these buttons whether you want the watch to wear on the left wrist or on the right wrist and then you want the buttons on the right or on the left so then you can wear it on the right wrist or left wrist and have the button orientation according to your preference and then finally we have transfer watch to new phone this feature allows you to transfer this watch with all its data and everything to a new phone without resetting the watch this is also a new feature that was not available on previous galaxy watches previously you would have to reset the watch in order to connect it to a new phone but now here it says that the google account on the watch and the new phone must match and if you're signed into a Samsung account on the new phone, that same account will be used on the watch. So these are the two conditions. You meet them, you can transfer this watch without resetting it. And then we have some accessibility settings, software update, tips and tutorials, and about watch where you can see your software versions and all that stuff. So that's about it guys. That was a detailed software walkthrough of Samsung Galaxy Watch 6 Classic. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I will try my best to answer all of them. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.